Hello and welcome. In this robot framework tutorial, we will learn about loops in robot framework or how you can implement loops in the robot framework. Now, loops allow you to iterate over a sequence and you can use loops to loop through a list of web elements or elements on the page or you can repeat a single keyword several times you can loop through the range of numbers so there are many uh, possibilities that you can achieve with loops and especially in the automation space you will at many places require a loop to loop through certain you know um, the web elements or uh, instances or uh, the list of elements uh, to achieve the results that you are aiming for in the automation now in the robot framework you can implement loop and loop in the robot framework begins with the for so you can implement the for loop in robot framework and the sample example is you specify the for uh, word there and then two spaces the variable uh, so for example you specify a certain variable and then in the list so you specify the list and then it will iterate through the keyword so you can specify the keyword and the end word okay so um, that's that's the basically syntax of loop in a robot framework now let's go through the uh, documentation of the robot framework built-in library and understand the for loop so if i just type for loop yep so it's here so you can see the some of the shortcuts continue for loop continue for loop if so these are the uh, built-in uh, robot framework built-in library keywords that are available with for loop but for loop uh, will simply start with the for keyword so you don't need colon with the latest uh, version anymore. This was uh, the previous syntax with the older version of robot framework. With the latest one, you just need the for and then you specify the variable in the list, so the list of values. You can run the keyword uh, or do something else. Um, so you can also have the if else within the loop. So run keyword if and then you can specify continue for loop right so this continue for loop what it will do is it will continue this particular loop um, until all the value all the list values that are specified here in the list are processed and then at the end you just need to put end uh, word there okay so let's understand this in the uh, code here so this is the simple loop that i have implemented uh, the for loop and the file name is for loop demo so what i'm doing here is i have used two variables url and browser and i've specified the url as google.com and browser as chrome now in the actual test case i'm just demonstrating the for loop so what i'm doing is i'm opening the browser and opening the google.com uh, in chrome browser then maximizing the window and the next step is basically i'm uh, providing the text search text as rcv academy and then clicking on the search button okay so what exactly i'm trying to do is i'm trying to get the text of all the search elements on the google page right so if i open the browser and open google.com all right so once on this page i will type the text rcv academy and hit search and on this particular page whatever text is available so there are certain search results available on this page i am just iterating through these web elements and getting the text of these search results so that's my test case is all about so if I go to this code here, so I'm search clicking on the search button, press keys, and then I'm using the keyword get web elements, and I have specified the X path for the 
list or the web elements that are being displayed so it will get all the web element detail and it will store in the list okay so list variable that i have specified is results on page now so get web elements will return the object of those elements on the page okay now in the next line here i am using the for loop two spaces after the for loop and then the variable element so dollar element in and the list so this is the list of objects or the web elements that are available on the search page so for each item or the element in the list i am getting the text of that particular web element or the web element object that is result with uh, that is returned uh, from the get web elements keyword get web web element keyword returns the object of those web elements so on this particular browser so this it will return object of this first result second result third result four result etc right so it will basically get so the second keyword will get the text of that web element and will store into the text variable and this will be available or printed in the results okay and then end loop so once all these uh, web elements are being iterated and the text is being uh, copied in the result uh, the loop will end so this is very simple implementation of the for loop and how you are going to implement for loop in robot framework after the for loop is over i'm just closing the browser now let's run this uh, test case so robot hyphen space hyphen d space results where your results will be stored and the test that you want to run so tests folder and for loop demo is the test so let me run this and it will open the url open google.com type in the text and then it has passed the test now let's go to the report and analyze the report and understand how the for loop has been executed so if i go to the report here you can see that these are all step are basically input text the search text and then press keys is the return keys or the enter after the search and then here this keyword get feb elements if you see that this is the list that contains the web elements list or the objects right so you can see all the comma separated web elements are being stored okay in this particular list now next comes the for loop so you can see for the elements or the element in this particular list so the list that we have got with the get web elements list which is stored in the results on page list it is iterating through this particular list and it is fetching the text out of it right so get text of that particular element the first element okay so you can see it has fetched the first web element text then it has moved to the second one and it has fetched the second text for the result okay so if we go to uh this particular page here you can see this is the youtube text right so thanks for stopping by and here you can see youtube channel thanks for sp stopping by so it, it is pulling the text of the web elements that are available on the search page and with the use of for loop it has been so easy to fetch the web elements objects first and then iterate through all those web elements and get the text right so now in the actual scenario when you are trying to implement your actual test cases say for example you want to get all the say you have a drop down list right and that drop down list has um, 20 or 50 different options in the drop down now when you go ahead and do that manual verification of that those drop downs it's very tedious and and not very efficient process 
now with with this implementation with the for loop what you can do is you can just get the details or get the the drop down uh, elements in the list and then iterate through the list and verify those um, those web elements or verify the content of the drop drop down with the expected uh, values that you can store in your excel or csv file as an expected result so if that list matches with the the data that you have stored in the excel file or the csv file then your test case pass and it will be you know you know like in a matter of seconds you will be able to achieve that result as as opposed to the manual verification of those sort of scenarios so this is just a simple uh, example but you can utilize for loop and if else um, combination of for and if else uh, in many different scenarios when you are doing the automated testing and implementing different test cases in your um, project or application under, under test so that's pretty much all about how you can implement the for loop in the robot framework hope you like the tutorial please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching